Hello everyone, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología, our channel dedicated to technology enthusiasts who always want to get the most out of what technology has to offer today. In this video, we're going to watch how to build a very powerful video conferencing system at a very reasonable price compared to those who offer video conferencing system, of course, worth thousands of dollars. We're going to use this camera from Logitech, which has very cool features, a very good camera. Um, it has an awesome microphone and, he's, and it has, of course, very other powerful features that we're going to analyze right now. Uh, it has this extension uh, rod, which uh, acts as a base of the camera and extends it over the normal size. This one is the computer that we're going to use. It is a Gigabyte Bricks. Very, very powerful computer if you use the version with solid state drive. Right here we see the ports that it has. It has the 15 port connector for VGA, it has HDMI, a LAN port, it has of course two USB 3.0 ports, the micro SD, the connector jacks, and very other cool features like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We're going to see how this uh, camera can interact with a Windows 10 computer like this one. We're going to use this Logitech keyboard which is very convenient for video conferencing system. Uh, I use it for my gaming consoles, for my smart TVs, and of course it has something very useful that is the everlasting battery life. Um, this one is the camera that is located on top of the base of the video conference, of the video conference webcam. This is just a webcam that you can uh, connect to every computer that you have. We have just chosen to use a computer to accompany it. This one is the panning, tilting, and zooming option of the of the camera that is also located at the bottom of the of the base. You can use it on top of this extension, or you can use it directly at the base. Uh, here we see the tilting option of the camera. You can see back there in the TV. It has a very very good quality camera, good lenses and you can control it also with the remote control which you can use it to mute as you can see here which is maybe the most uh, useful option in a video conferencing system you can also start and end a call from the base okay right here we see how the other end or how the other party might see you and how convenient this remote control can be for someone who has uh, something to emphasize on. For example, you can use it to tilt around the room where you are located. You can zoom in into an object or a person who is currently speaking and you can also emphasize um, what you want the other party to see. You're going to find this particularly useful when you're going to show the other party a, an object or a product that you are selling or you just want to emphasize on something. Of course, using the ultra compact CPU from Gigabyte has uh, everything you need to go beyond the simple video conferencing system, sharing desktops, collaborating, and having the full PC experience. You're also going to find that the microphone in the base is very, very powerful. Purchasing a different or an add-on microphone like the one that we're going to leave at the description for bigger conferencing rooms. So this is the video conferencing webcam. This one is the keyboard. And this one is the computer that you're going to use. Of course, having advantage of the, the solid state drives, which gives us the advantage of writing and reading at a very high speed. Uh, right here we have an example of what we're talking about. This one is a file copying to the C volume which has a solid state drive and does not even go to 50% of the capacity while the SATA drive that we are reading from is at 100%. For those of you who want to have a higher sensitivity microphone, this one is the one that I was talking to you about a few moments back. It is a high sensitivity condenser microphone with, which is uh, omnidirectional and is suitable for bigger conferencing rooms and it picks up fairly every the, the slightest sound in the room. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching this video. We really hope it guided you a little bit into building your own VC system with a reasonable budget. See you soon.